So your first bow hunt, Craig? Yeah, my first bow hunt. You're very, looking forward to it. Very excited. I'm going to see what's going to happen now on the blind. Come on up. Okay, so you know which part of the area is the front, right? This one. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. So this man here just shot his first spring rock with a bow. Well, killed his first spring rock with a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it that way. So we're sitting in the in the elevated hide. Spring rock was down there by the water. And just to the right and bottom of the water, and 45 degrees away from that, you can actually see the patches of blood. So there's a patch there, there's a patch there. And it ran around this way. We're just giving it a couple of minutes, and then we're going to go and get it. How do you feel, man? I feel relieved, getting used to the angle, getting used to the nervousness. Um, but yeah, I was determined today. Yeah. I decided that we'd come on really early and just brave it out, walked in the dark, avoided the buffalo, avoided the buffaloes, uh, and yeah, it was just it worked out perfectly. One single male springbok came in and drank. Stood completely broadside, and yeah, that was it. Took the chance. Hopefully, successful. It looks successful. Now we're gonna go look for it now. Right, so this is this is where he stood. I was drinking water. That's exactly the angle you shot him at as well. So you can see it's a nice good, and it's a bright, bright red blood, which means it's arterial blood. But it's close to the heart. There's a blood there, blood there, blood there, blood there. We'll go follow that now. I just want to see where the arrow went first, because the arrow hit the ground over there, and it bounced in there. I want to check what it looks like. Okay, found the arrow. You can see this arrow, uh, blood on the arrow all the way down, all the way down. There's blood on the veins here, there's blood on the knock. So it went straight through the spring knock. So we're going to leave that there for now. Just if the farmer wants to see what happened in case we don't find it. But we will. Let's just oh, okay. leave everything as is if someone else needs to track it as well. Okay, so let's come around so we don't walk over it. 
So for the blood trail, the little hand GPS is nice because every time you find a new spot of blood, you mark a point. Yes, and then yes. If you lose a trail for whatever reason, you can look at the map and just get the general idea and look for it again. Some more over there. Sure, it's a lot of blood. It's continuous bleeding. Mm -hmm. It's a hairy took a tip, okay. You always stop at your last spot where you saw blood until you see the next one there. And if necessary, one guy can stand and you can walk like out and find the next one. But oh, you I stand see. at the spot. Okay. So you never lose it. So like here again and then it's there, there, there. Ooh, nice big one here. It went over the bush. There's blood on the bush. There's more. There's more, there's more, there's more. It's a lot here. And then here. It kind of went along this little buck trail. Some more here. There. On the grass. See that? There and there, there, and here's a big one again. There's a little splatter. Just stand here at this spot. Okay, so we're still following the blood trail. It's a good amount of blood everywhere. And then we found this. Now we're trying to find the next splatter. It's sometimes. Can you stand your Okay. Hold on. <laughs> well done, Craig. Lovely. A young ram. This is a lot of blood here. Yeah. This is what I actually saw. Oh, right. This red. Okay. All of this and all of that. It's like a... Oh, yeah. He was, he was probably just like standing around here and then phew, dropped. Yeah, man. Nice, well done. Got it, brought it, brought it back to the road. We're just waiting for the bucky. So when you when you sit up in the hide after you shoot, even if you see that blood down there on the ground, you're still thinking like maybe it's I had, not. Uh, really. I was having my doubts. Uh, it was. Uh, um, I was even at one point. I was thinking, um, is that blood like maybe from something else? Like was it there before? Like should we go back and check the footage and see if the blood was lying there before? Did I shoot the did I shoot to hide? Did I shoot the stomach? What did I do? Um, but that's just little niggling afterthoughts. It's not really. I knew that that I, in my mind, I knew that it was a solid hot shot. So now we're going to go get our hands dirty.